Yeah, I think there's a few different dimensions to it. So I think one is thinking about the data that AI tools are trained on and how privacy folds into that. So we've seen things around intellectual property concerns, for example, in generative AI tools that do image generation, where there's concerns about copyright infringement. Um, But privacy could also be an issue depending upon where the data is sourced from and if it was sourced in responsible and ethical ways. The actual outputs from the AI tools and how those get used, and particularly how they're designed to ensure that privacy is not violated in some way outside of what the intent of the tool was, whatever it was built to do. Um, So that's another piece is the people who are actually building the tools to be thinking about privacy and how to protect privacy in appropriate ways as they construct and design and implement the tool. And then third is the users of the tools. So we've seen examples where people can effectively hijack particularly on the generative AI tools. There's been news stories about somebody who managed to buy a car for a dollar through a dealer website chatbot because they managed to convince the chatbot to do something that it clearly wasn't intended to do. So you can envision where there might be ways to convince a tool to give you private information that it's not supposed to if it's not designed with the appropriate guardrails in place. And then beyond the AI direct implications around privacy, I think the other part is the complexity of the landscape in terms of thinking through and understanding how different tools may be using your data or using your content for other purposes in ways that to you may feel like a privacy violation. And it may follow the terms of service. But that gets really complicated and difficult, I think, pretty quickly. And so Zoom is actually one example where they changed their terms of service, I think, three or four times in the summer of 2023. And we ended up stepping away from a paid subscription to Zoom after that final version last summer still allowed Zoom to store the content and be able to access the content of meetings. And they made clear that they wouldn't use the data to train AI models. But I think there's a misunderstanding that that doesn't mean that they can't use the data to run AI models. So I think there's some technical jargon that sometimes gets thrown into terms of service and privacy policies, where if you don't really understand the details of how these tools are built and utilized, it might sound like it's okay to you and meets the criteria you have around privacy. But sometimes there's nuance there where you really need more expertise to help you weigh in and make decisions about what you want to use from a tool perspective. 